some sundog leather here. How are ya? I'm, this has got to be quicker than typing it all out, so I thought I'd just give you a video and show you what I would do, literally what I would do to, 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 uh, uh, to reshape your bit. This is mine off my bike. I've had it for a bunch of years now. I don't even know how many. Anyway, all you'll really need to do is just like reshape it. Just bend it past the shape that it wants, that it's supposed to be. You know, bend it a little bit back firmly, but yet gently. I mean, here's mine, and I can do this with it. I don't recommend doing it, but it can be done. And that's what I'm saying is just take the ends, which if you, I'm assuming one of your finer little corners is coming up. You can take it and bend it down gently, hold it there a little bit, and it'll, it'll hold like that. You'll bend it past the curve of the fender, so that when you do go put it back on the fender, the fender splays out the edges, and it should retain that shape virtually forever. If it does get wet in the rain, and God knows <laughs> it happens, or the snow and the sleet, or the sleet, um, leave it on the bike to dry, because or or take it off the, if you're gonna if you feel like you need to dry it on something so that it, it retains that shape. Don't lay it flat like that, because eventually over time it will it will take out the mold that I put in. I molded directly on the fender like this. I'm not gonna tell you how, but. It really does work, and it really does retain its shape. And all you'll need to do is just flex it back into shape, firmly but gently, if that makes sense, and and beyond what it's supposed to be, or a little bit beyond, and, and lay it back on there, and, and do it a couple times until you're confident that it has the shape you want. Um, the memory that there's like a little air hole, there's cells inside of it, it's organic, it's skin. So when I mold it and then when it dries, it retains that shape. So it wants to come back to this shape. It's not going to flare up the wrong way because it's, it's I don't want to say training, but it's molded to go the other way. If, if you have a problem, if it, feel free to send it back. I'll pay ship it, I'll fix it if you, I mean, to fix it, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, I'll keep doing it until it, 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 it stays that way. And that's what I recommend uh, you do. In all honesty, you're the second person that's come to me and, and said that. The first one was a woman, and she said, about five years ago I got your bib, and I'm wondering... <laughs> so, I have, I, I have total faith and confidence in the process and, and, and the product that you have or that anybody gets. Um, to, please try that. I'm 100% I'm confident that that's, that will... Uh, uh, return it to the shape that uh, gets all the use and honors during your bike rally over the weekend. So I hope this is good, uh, sufficient for you. Um, obviously, I couldn't have put this many typewritten words on a, on a, on a letter. Um, but anyway, thanks for your efforts and thanks for everything. And uh, let me know if let me know how, let me know how this works out for you. Thank you, Robert. Bye.